So recently I made a video about how to put on one of these vibration dampeners on a head tennis racket. Now I figured why not uh, enjoy this weather outside right now, sit on this patio and talk to you about the actual racket. Now this is a head T1.S1 Pro tennis racket. Why it has a name that sounds like a Terminator, who knows. But this is a very standard tennis racket, it's available at many retailers. Uh, pick this up at Dick's Sporting Goods, or as I like to call it, Phallus Sporting Goods. And it is priced at $59.99, so kind of in that realm of a lower to mid-tier priced tennis racket. But uh, if you know what you're paying for, if you have a certain outlook on what you want out of your tennis racket and skill level, then you're going to, in my mind, enjoy this tennis racket as much as I have so far in the few times that I've played with it. So, um, a lot of times if you're a beginner coming into tennis and looking for a tennis racket, there are very low priced tennis rackets on the market, um, some for $25, $30 by major brands like Head, like Prince, like Wilson. And if that fits you, if you want to try that out as a beginner, go for it. But of course, like any other sport, like golf, uh, tennis is the same way. Your equipment really matters as to uh, your actual skill level with the game and how well things will go for you. Um, obviously, you still have to have skill itself, but with the way the ball goes off the strings, um, just the, you know, the, the nature of how the bracket is built obviously then has an effect on your game as well if you're at a certain skill level. Nevertheless, for beginners or intermediates or like myself, somebody that's returning back to the game, this kind of tennis racket from head uh, I've found to be pretty good uh, and, and really good in saying that I didn't want to get something that was too cheap, 25 to 30 dollars, but then in that little next tier up of about 50 to 60 dollar realm of pricing, uh, this head tennis racket is a solid titanium good racket so far. And uh, one of the things that I found very appealing to it was the grip in the sense that it is a 4 and 3 eighth inch grip, which I enjoy because I have a two-handed backhand and it allows my hands, both of them, to be firmly on the grip. A lot of other rackets are 4 and a half inches, um, and so as a result, or excuse me, this was 4 and a half inches, a lot are 4 and 3 and eighth inches, so as a result you lose a bit of um, the length on your grip and so then all of a sudden maybe a finger or something like that on your two-handed backhand is going a little bit above the grip. Just depends again on your um, choices and how you do your ground strokes. If you might have a one-handed backhand and it might me be meaningless to you on the grip. Again it all comes back to your comfort. But the biggest thing about this if you are looking it up, if you just happen to be in a store shopping for tennis rackets, this is a very normal racket that's out on the market at that $60 price level. You'll see this, maybe another Prince at that level, a Wilson. But you should be really happy. Head is a solid mainstream brand of tennis rackets. And at this pricing point, again, if you're a beginner or you're an intermediate even, uh, I found it to be a very solid tennis racket. I'm looking forward to continuing to use it. But then I think you reach a certain point in your skill level where you're going to want to take that next step to getting a better racket that's out on the market. Something in the three figures, something where even, you know, um, when the manufacturer itself is the one who strings it for you, might not be the best situation, honestly. I have every anticipation these, sting these strings will break within the year with the way that I play. Um, but again, it's a perfectly fine tennis racket, again, for beginners or intermediates in starting up, getting the feel for how to play tennis and enjoying it. I'm looking forward, and my plan was, was to just get this, get back out there and play consistently, and then I was planning on passing along this racket to my partner. She uh, is terrible at tennis, does not play that much, but will be happy to have just a racket around so that when we do play, uh, it'll be the usual of her just running me around the court with her terrible tennis that is spraying balls everywhere. But then by that point, I could probably review a new tennis racket at a higher level, um, maybe by head, but maybe by uh, some of these more advanced, um, I don't know, the Ferraris of tennis rackets types of uh, companies that are out there. We'll see. But if you're looking uh, in the market for a tennis racket at that beginner intermediate level at a price point like 50 to 60 bucks, uh, this head T1.S1 is pretty good. On a scale of like five stars, I put it in that four to 4.5 star 
range, which is, strangely enough, uh, my rating in tennis, too, if you ever want to play. Well, hey, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, keep getting out there and playing tennis. Yeah.